What's up guys, on today's episode, we're going to be installing a new radio on my car. And before we get into all this mess, let me show you why I want a new radio. I'm going to show you the process that I've been doing every time I want to listen to my own music instead of listening to the radio. I have this here. This is the T10. I've honestly had this for like five years and I've been using it in my daily almost every single day. It works pretty good. Um, it's just a Bluetooth, so I'll turn the car on, turn to the on position turn the radio on so we just plug this into the adapter here so I move mine over here waiting for pairing all right so that was a little snippet of like what the sound quality is like in here. It honestly, the radio sounds a little better when I use the Bluetooth uh, on the actual AM FM. Uh, it's hard to get like a good sound quality. I've been messing with like the balance and fade, but it seems like whatever I do, it's never like exactly right. I have the balance set more towards the back and the fade is about the same of like what it should normally be. But something sounds a little off so let's put in this new radio okay got the battery all disconnected now let me show you the goods we got so obviously if you're gonna do a double din install you need to get the kit this is gonna be the new cover here so here we have two choices this radio here came with the car extra so we got that one and then this one I bought a couple months ago at the store so this one's a Pioneer, this one's a Sony. Obviously, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I'm gonna use the one I bought at the store. It's a little nicer. It's got a little knob. Uh, this one here, it works great, but uh, it's not exactly what I want. It's got all the fancy LED colors. You have to press every single time you wanna turn up or turn down. And uh, it's a little older. This one, it's got a USB in the front. It's got a control knob for the volume. I really wanted that feature. It's a pretty sleek design. This here is the XAV1500, and this is the box here. Sony XAV1500 smartphone mirroring. Yeah, it's a pretty good looking radio. So obviously all the stuff. These two brackets were for this one. This harness is for this one. And then the harness for the brackets for this one. And then harness here. And then we have the antenna adapter for that one, and then the brand new antenna adapter for this one. A uh, microphone. And I went and bought this. This little uh, iPhone charger, it's got like a 90 degree bend on both ends. Uh, my thought here was I'd be able to open this up, and then instead of having it come straight out, I'll plug this in and then it goes straight down. It'll look a little better, I guess. Let's we'll see how it looks. Matches the radio pretty good. We'll get this out. Just close that door. So, this is the one I'm going to go with. It's going to go in here like this. It's going to look really, really good. Uh, I really like the quality of this piece here. Uh, it looks just like a plastic but it's actually got a little thin layer of rubber coating. If you look here, you can see the little pieces. It's got a little rubber coating to go over the whole thing, so it feels really nice. So, we gotta go into the car and take off the old radio bezel and radio, so let's go ahead and do that. So this piece here has gotta come out. It's actually really easy to come out. I'm able to do it with my hands. You just gotta find a piece, gently tug on it, and work your way down. It's got little clips holding them in. So now that they're off. Okay, now we have to unplug this little piece here. Push this clip in. Alright, so just like that, this piece is off. But we can't just toss this. We have to reuse the vents here and then uh Gotta get those out as well. Next, I'm gonna use this seven millimeter. 
get these uh just two bolts here on each side and we'll keep those for later now tuck these wires out of the way now we can take this out so there's three cords here that we have to disconnect all right so we have to disconnect the wiring harness this right here is for the steering wheel controls and then the antenna okay back at the workbench here you can see we got all the radios laid out so this is the original dash piece here and as you can see this goes there just slides in like that perfect fit we can't use this piece because the radio that we are going to use they don't fit in there so that's why you need to get an aftermarket dash bezel even with this one the pioneer it don't fit in there either so what we have to do take off these two vents and all these here and we're gonna have to reuse these clips as well so let's jump right into that <laughs> There it is, everything's taken out. One last thing that we need to do is we're gonna have to reuse these clips as well. So I'm gonna get those out now. Now, this piece here can just go into storage. We will not be needing it for any time soon. So here is all of our pieces that we're gonna be reusing in our new dash kit. So let's get it all put in. Okay, so I did struggle putting these vents back in because if you can see here, this little metal or this middle piece here, it's like pushed over that way. So getting this vent in was really hard. This one's a little tighter now. Uh, so I don't really know a good way to unbend that so that it's straight, but it is in there. They are in there they're not falling out or anything. So it should be good for now. If uh, this piece keeps falling out, or if it does fall out, I'll have to figure out a better way for this middle piece. we're back in the car here we're gonna plug in these uh, so we got the extra the newer antenna adapter plugged it into here get that one out of the way we got our harness that'll plug into our factory harness so those are in I'll tuck these away so let's hook our antenna up Antenna's hooked up. Now we'll hook up our wiring harness. So we hear a click. So there's the click. So let's put this in here and then see how it's resting. That's how it'll rest. So let's grab our two little bolts here. So now that that's in there good, we can snake these wires back out. Now that the radio's in, now we can install our new dash piece. And now we should just be able to click this in. Boom. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. I love the clips instead of the bolts. So there's the radio. 
now let's turn this thing on see how it sounds all right we're in the car batteries plugged back in let's see what this radio looks like nice nice holy moly all right so let's connect this home so we got radio bluetooth phone usb and aux let's see bluetooth it's gonna start playing same uh song that we played earlier with the regular radio so let's see how it sounds <laughs> All right, so that sounds actually really good. Let's go back to the home. Radio. I'm not gonna get copyrighted here, but radio's playing. Let's go back to home. Settings. General. Date and time, beep on and off. Sound, extra bass, balance, move that around, crossover, go to visual, wallpaper, you change up the wallpapers, right now I'm going to stick with the blue, I think that looks pretty cool. Go back. Illumination level. Bluetooth. And or see if I can use Spotify. And my song will pop up. Visual wallpaper. Let's do like black. What it looks like. Well, that looks pretty dope too. So this is actually really nice. As you can see, you can see that uh, whatever I'm listening to, it'll pop up. And I can change songs. That's really nice. This is so much better than having to put my little Bluetooth receiver in every single time. I know, and it sounds a lot better too. All right guys, the radio's in. It looks great, it works perfectly. So I hope you guys look forward to the next one and thanks for watching, peace.